Hi everyone, I'm Philip Galinsky, founder and director of Samba New York. In today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching and demonstrating what I consider to be the most basic pattern for Samba on the Kaisha or Brazilian snare drum. What is this pattern? This is none other than the subdivisions of the Samba. What are the subdivisions of the Samba? Well, we can count Samba in four beats. So there are four main beats to each measure or cycle. And each of those main beats can be subdivided into four smaller beats. Those four smaller beats are often notated as 16th notes. We can sometimes count them in English, at least, as 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. But there's a particular feel to those subdivisions in the samba. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about that in this video, but I'll just mention for now that the way that I teach these subdivisions is as follows. Here are the four subdivisions of the beat. The first subdivision gets a primary accent, so it's the loudest. The fourth subdivision gets a secondary accent, so it's loud but a little bit quieter or not quite as loud as the first subdivision. And the second and third subdivisions are quieter, okay? And so if we have that, we have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. But that still doesn't convey the samba swing yet. Uh, how do we get that samba swing? Well, in my opinion, to get the samba swing, what we do is we delay the second subdivision and we anticipate the fourth subdivision to varying degrees. If you want to learn more about how to get the samba swing, from my perspective, please watch the video that I called An Introduction to the Samba Rhythm. There's also the Pandero tutorial in which I teach what I consider to be the most basic pattern for Samba on the Pandero. And there's another video called A Sneak Peek into the Third Sudo Intensive Certificate Course. And in that video, I also talk a lot about the Samba Swing. So please refer to those three videos uh, as a starting point for understanding at least my perspective on how to get the Samba Swing. But in this video, I'm just going to jump right into the mechanics of playing this most basic pattern on the Kaisha. And for this video, I'll be using this beautiful 12 inch multi pad practice pad by Contemporanea. Okay, so if you haven't yet watched the video on uh, the technique lesson uh, that I just recorded, please check that out first. And once you've checked that out, if you're not already familiar with some stick technique, check that out and then come back to this lesson. All right, so let's jump right into the lesson. So uh, for this lesson, we're going to, uh, for this uh, pattern, we're gonna start with our dominant hand and we're going to play a, we're gonna start with a, a silent upstroke and we're going to play a downstroke. Okay, so the first, the first uh, beat will be a, downstroke. So downstroke, and then we're going to do a tap in the left hand, and then another tap in the right hand. And while we're doing that tap in the right hand, we're going to be doing a silent upstroke in the left hand. So we have down, tap, tap, and again, down, tap, tap, down, tap, tap, down, tap, tap. And for the final subdivision, we're going to be playing an accented note. So another downstroke, down, okay? But as we play that downstroke, we're going to be doing a silent upstroke in the right hand so we can continue the whole process uh, again. So the whole pattern is down, tap, tap, down, 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 down, tap, tap. Okay, so now we'll do it a little faster. Uh, 
three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two three four one two three four one two three four one two Okay, and whenever I'm counting, uh, those are the beats of the first and second surdu. <clears throat> so, in most baterias, uh, that would sound something like this. Ready, play, and boom, boom. So now let's play it a little faster, putting a little more swing into it. Three E and a four E and a two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, one. Okay, so here's an exercise that will help you get the swing on the kaisha for this basic pattern. So if you take your dominant hand, in this case my right hand, the right hand is going to be playing loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft. Now those are evenly spaced notes, just the main beats and right in the middle of each beat or the and of each beat. So one and two and three and four and one. It's the left hand or your non-dominant hand where that's going to help generate the swing, okay? In my opinion. So to get the swing, according to this perspective, this way of, of getting the swing, uh, what I do is I delay that first note on the left hand. So I go, that first tap and make it closer to the third tap, right? And then that second left hand note, the accented note, the downstroke, is gonna be a little sooner than it normally would be if the notes were evenly spaced. So to get the swing, I'm gonna exaggerate it a little bit. I'm gonna go one and two and three and four and And you can continue. Okay, so this amount of swing, uh, in other words, we, I've delayed the second note quite a bit and I've anticipated the fourth note quite a bit. For this particular speed or tempo, that is a bit of an exaggeration um, for me. I think it sounds a little too close to the triplet side for that tempo. So I would play it a little more even like this. At that tempo, okay? But to practice what you're gonna play at faster tempos, you could sort of um, play a little more triplety like this. And if you take that and you move it to a faster tempo, it's gonna work really well. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments section. And in the next video, I'm going to demonstrate this pattern on an actual Kaisha. Thanks so much.